After the tragic shooting this morning in Alexandria, feelings here at the Capitol were quite intense. This afternoon, lawmakers are getting back to their normal business. The tragedy has united members of Congress, said Congressman Tom O'Halloran, who represents Arizona's first district. The Democratic uh, caucus came together in prayer. Uh, the, uh, we had a, a, a briefing on, on the issues and, and then we had a, a discussion on the, on the floor of, about uh, just, the, just what had happened and, and the sadness about it. That theme of closing ranks continued today as House Speaker Paul Ryan and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi came together late this morning to address the full House with words of unity. Thank you to join me to resolve to come together, to lift each other up, and to show the country, to show the world that we are one house, the people's house, united in our humanity. Pelosi agreed that today was the day to put partisanship aside. I identify myself with the remarks of the speaker. <laughs> They're beautiful remarks, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much for the sentiments that they represent. Thank you so much. Many on Capitol Hill were praising the police officers who returned fire on the shooter this morning, likely saving lives on the baseball field. And thank God for the uh, fact that uh, two uh, great police officers were there to take action or else this could have been much worse. It would have been much worse. He said now Congress needs to find a way to bring all Americans back together. Reporting in Washington, I'm Alex Valdez, Cronkite News.